And then separately, a senior Israeli diplomat is saying that the country will not accept a two-state solution. That runs contrary to U.S. policy. What's your reaction to those comments? We still, we still adhere to the promise and the vision of a two-state solution. Nothing's changed about our policy. I'll let the Israelis speak for themselves. We still believe, the president still believes, it's not only possible, it's in the best interest of the Israeli people and the Palestinian but people. But how is peace at all possible if the Israelis cannot accept that? As I said yesterday, Gabe, uh, a two-state solution may seem elusive right now. We're not fooling ourselves. We know that everybody's focused right now on the fight against Hamas, but it requires leadership, a two-state solution. It requires leadership on all sides here to be able to roll up their sleeves and do the right thing, not only for their people, but for everybody in the region. The president is an optimist, and he still believes that it's the right answer, the right solution, and he still believes it's achievable. We're not. Nobody thinks we're going to pull a rabbit out of a hat here and get to it tomorrow, especially while they're in a, a, a fight for their lives right now. And on Jake's visit, uh, with him meeting the Saudis and you know the administration saying that normalization between Saudi and Israel will bring the goal of a two-state solution together, can you break that down for me, uh, please? How does that work in the current post-October 7 reality? Uh, again, Patsy, we know that uh, a two-state solution right now is going to seem elusive to a lot of folks. We understand that, given what's going on since the 7th of October. So, uh, but that doesn't mean you, you give up on it. And in his meetings in Riyadh, one of the things Jake talked about with the Crown Prince was the idea of normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia. This is an idea we had been pushing forward before the 7th of October, and we have indications that the Saudis are still interested in having that conversation going forward. That's a positive thing. Are we going to get there tomorrow? No, of course not. Uh, but that, that's, a, as I said yesterday, it's an important milestone to perhaps getting to a viable two-state solution.